Hey guys, it's Val. Welcome back to part five of Beyond Two Souls. Now, I didn't touch on this enough, I don't think, because I, I just want to make it known that I did notice it. In part three, when we died and we kind of like saw everything throughout our life, we saw that our mother in one of the scenes was giving us up for adoption. But did you notice that when she was upset, like the lights were flickering and shaking and... I don't know if that was just like part of the dream to show that it was like emotional and like earth shattering for her as a mother to give up her child, but maybe she had some kind of power too. I don't know, but last episode, part four, we had a good look into Jody's childhood and how she basically, she was abandoned by her adoptive parents and she had trouble dealing with the fact that she was different than other girls. We made a little uh, error at the bar um, when Jody got out and we ended up, uh, you know, sh shooting. <laughs> shooting everybody in the bar. Well, it was only three people, but I mean, they did kind of deserve it, but um, also too, like we lost control of ourselves and let our emotions get the better of us. <laughs> yeah, I'm rambling now, so yeah, let's get to it. Oh, we're in the desert. Totally exhausted and thirsty, and I have no clue where we fucking are, so just play nice and give me a break, okay? <sighs> we are nowhere. Oh, there's a house. Is that where we're going? Oh, there's a trap. Wow. I mean, I get it, but damn. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm dying of thirst. And everything's fucked. But it's gonna be okay. Leave me alone, Aiden. What? There's a house. He's trying to tell you. Maybe they have indoor plumbing and we can get some water. If they don't shoot us. It's okay, Aiden. There's no reason to be nervous. Go to the front door. Let's not like get all up in their property. Oh. Okay, it wants us to get up all in their property. Hmm. Bunch of sheep. There's a door. Let's go. Oh, it's a doggy. Are you gonna hurt me? Do you need some water? Oh, back off there. I'm not gonna hurt you. Okay. Can, can I get some water? No. No water. At least we knocked. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, I I'm so sorry to disturb you. I I'm just looking for some place to spend the night, and, and I was hoping that... You can't stay here. Sorry. Well, can I just... Can I just spend the night in your barn? Please, I, I mean, I promise I will be gone by morning. I told you you can't stay here. You need to leave now. It's okay. You can stay here tonight. Come in. Thank you. What's your name? Um, Jody. I'm Paul. These are my sons, Corey and Jay. My mother, Shimasani. Don't be surprised if she doesn't answer you. She hasn't spoken in years. We're about to have mm. dinner. Would you like to eat with us? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Okay, I'm just gonna sit beside you. You're kind of cute, but you were mean. <laughs> Mm. Let's get some corn too. She looks so sad. This is so awkward. No talking whatsoever. We don't see many hitchhikers out here. Can I ask where you're headed? Mm. I just keep moving from day to day. I guess if I keep going long enough, I'll figure out where I'm headed. I see. You guys are, um, Navajo, right? We're Diné. That means the people in Navajo. That's what we call ourselves. You guys are really far from everything here. Hmm. My family's lived here for generations. I was born here. I'll probably die here. I tell my boys to go. I know there's nothing for them here. But, uh, they want to stay with their grandmother and me, so. <laughs> This is the uh, first ranch that I've seen in, in miles. Mm. There used to be more of us. Many have left for the city. It's a hard life out here. What the hell is that? They're prepared. Jay will uh, show you to your room. This always Good happens. Night. What is this? Are you coming? I'm right beside you, fool. Damn. Stay in your room, no matter what you hear. What I hear? What do you mean? You value your life, lock your door, and don't come out until the morning. Okay. Oh, 
Are we not going to put bottoms on? What if we have to get out in the middle of the night? I know. It's a very strange place. Don't worry. Tomorrow will be a long way from here. Good night, Ida. You stay in your room. No matter what you hear. We get some pants on? Are we just gonna go out? Okay, we're just gonna fight things. Um, what am I doing? Ashes. For protection, huh? What's got them so scared? Back to bed, maybe? Not sure how you could sleep, <laughs> but we're, we're gonna lay down. Got a little booty shot there. They unlocked my door. Okay. Windows are open. You looked exhausted. I told the boys to let you sleep. Thanks. I, I really needed it. Made some coffee. I will take some. Thank you, kind sir. What, where is it? There's the kettle. Can we talk about what happened last night? Why you locked me in my room? I need to sip that some more. There we go. Can I talk to you? Thank you. I'm gonna hit the road. Thank you. There's a lot of work to be done on the farm. Oh, you want me to work? Maybe you'd like to stay on for a few days. Lend a helping hand. Couldn't pay you anything, but uh, you have a roof, food on the table. What do you think? Yeah. 
Yeah, w why not? Hmm, good. You'll find some more clothes in Corey's room. See you outside. Okay, so I'm gonna work on a farm. This is Corey's clothes? Ready for work. I'm ready when you are. The sheep need water. Think you can handle that? Yeah, sure. Okay. I'm gonna put in some work today. The sheep to the bathtub. gonna stay well it looks that way great I mean it's good to Thanks, have some help. Uh, can you get some hay from the barn sure well Corey's so welcoming he's like yeah maybe he thinks I'm cute can we talk to her Jody and, and I'm I'm gonna stay here for a little bit and help out. I hope that you don't mind. This is beautiful. Did you make this yourself? Talk. Good talk. Maybe she doesn't talk for a reason, like... Oh, there's some hay. Like, maybe she's afraid of... Boy... There you go. Help me, Iden. Oh, that's Sheed and Jody. Take it easy, Iden. Just one bale, not the whole goddamn haystack. I, I did just get one. Put it down anywhere. Thanks, Jody. There we go. It's lunchtime. Go and join the boys if you're hungry. Already? You coming? Oh, gosh. Later. I still have work to do. Okay. Later then. Oh, you gotta take care of yourself, Paul. Have a seat. Thanks. Is it true that your grandmother hasn't spoken in, in years? Yeah. My father said she hasn't said a word since my great-grandmother died. That's gotta be 30 years. Jeez. Are there other Navajo ranches around here? There used to be about 50 some years back, but now there's just us. The others got scared off. The others decided to go live in the city. Mmm, there Not it everyone is. Everyone wants to live in the desert. Cory wants to be my friend. What were those noises last night? It sounded like something was banging on on the house and that's just the wind 
They make strange sounds in the desert. I saw the dead sheep. What happened to them? A storm. Just tell me. They Boy. wander out of the pen and choke to death on the sand. Choke to death. Do you on always the ask sand. so many questions? I sure do. When I don't understand something, yeah. Yeah? How about if I started asking you questions? Where you come from? What you're doing here? You probably wouldn't like it, huh? So keep your secrets to yourself. And don't ask any more questions. Okay. You'll excuse me. I got work to do. How about you tell me the truth, Corey? Don't mind him, Jody. He's okay when you get to know him. <laughs> I'll bet. Well, I guess I better get back to it or Paul will get mad. <laughs> See you later. Come on, talk to me, Grandma. Well done, Jody. Okay, let's talk to him, maybe. He's cute, but an asshole. I don't know what you're saying to that horse, but he doesn't like it. Let's go see if Paul needs anything, like some water, you want me to cut some wood? Hey, anything else need doing, Paul? No, but maybe the boys could use some help. Okay, I'll check. Okay. Jeez. Oh, you want me to milk? Hey, you need help, Corey? No, not really. I'm gonna go see if Jay needs any help. Yeah, later. Ah, uh, of course Jay needs help. Hey, the asshole. Oh, I can't go out that way. Let's see what Jay's doing. Whoa. Proud and stubborn. Never wants to go in with the others. Do you mind if I try? You worked with horses before? No. <laughs> go right ahead. His name's Ashki. All right, Ashki. Please don't kill me. Hey there, Ashki. Don't be afraid. I'm just gonna come over there, okay? You shouldn't corner him though, like easy. Easy boy. Come on, Ashki. Hey. See Ashki? That's not so bad, is it? Admit it. You kinda like me, huh? <laughs> Iden. Ever dreamed of riding a horse? Are we gonna ride a horse? I get to be a Into horse. Wow, he can possess animals too? That's so crazy.
How'd you do that? We all have our secrets, right? Maybe I misjudged you. Well, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I, I didn't do that to take a myself. Shower, it's behind the barn. Ladies first. It's fine by me. Okay, none of y'all peeking. Is Jay gonna sneak a peek? Oh, this is nice. Dang it, when I'm naked too. Does it say crown? Crown. And then the guy left running. And you know what? He was never seen again. <laughs> it's time to go to bed. What's Let me fight him for you, Paul. Why do we have to lock up the house? Just go to your room, Gertie. And don't come out, no matter what happens. You remember the sheep last night? I don't want anything to happen to you. God, for God's sakes, Paul. What's going on here? Just go to your room. There's nothing you can do. Why, is it because I'm a girl? Should I not do this? Should I go to my room? Checking on the babies. Little sheep. Wow, look at that wall. My gosh. Oh. Are we gonna hide? The spirits are fighting him. I'm sorry. Am I running? Shit. What 
the hell? Aiden! Gosh, man, these QTEs, F them. Jody! Jody, I told you to stay in your room. You could have been killed. What's That's happening? for sure. What was that thing? You should have listened to me. Stayed in your room. You have to tell me the truth. You have to tell me the truth now. It's Yeetso. Yeetso. He wants blood. That's all he's interested in. We can't do anything about it. You can't fight his spirit. I can. Spirits don't live in this world. If he's here, there's a reason. You remember us? We're friends, right? I'm just gonna put my foot in the stirrup and climb up, okay? I need to figure out how to go forward. Got this. Hey, what do you think, Ashki? We're doing pretty good, huh? That horse is gonna have to tell me your secret. <laughs> Listen, I'm headed over the pasture to tend the churros. by an entity. You wanna come? Sure. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, I can run. Ooh, this is fun. God, I love sheep. What's this? What is going on here? Okay. Look, I, I know you don't want to talk about it. But I really need to know what happened last night. And the ghosts that surround the house. I mean, do you know who they are? Ancestors, My father right? says five spirit guardians have always protected our tribe. They come at night to prevent Yeo Tso from killing us. I don't know if it's true, but Yeo Tso has never managed to get into our house. Your father knew the spirit. It's not the first time he's come, right? Yeo Tso has always been here. It comes at night and steals souls. The old ones used to say, it's a curse. The price our tribe had to pay for living on these lands. My turn to ask you some questions. Ah, uh, here we go. What are you really doing out here in the middle of the desert? It feels like you're running away from something. I guess I'm just trying to forget. You know, make a new start. Maybe I'm just running away from myself. You're like us. You also have your dark secret, don't you, Jody? 
I am. Um... I have to tell you something. I... Oh, is that? The bad boy shark. I. I eat on. She eat the dish. That was Paul. There's no water at the ranch. Something must be up with the well. I'm gonna have a look on my way back. I can go take a look if you want. Uh, don't know if you'll be able to do much. I'll do what I can. Where's the well? Uh, it's over there. It's got a windmill. Shouldn't be hard to find. Okay. I'll see you back at the ranch. What okay. am I gonna do? See you later. I I wouldn't know how to fix that at all. Oh, there's like brush. Okay. Good work, Aiden. The pump's running again. Okay. Is there anything else out here? So I need to do anything? No? Oh, hey. You saw me in the shower, you little pervert. Come back. Oh, it's a house. Or a shed. Go in there. Looks like a little hut. Wow. What the hell? My gosh. <laughs> These QTEs are gonna be the death of me. Crown, again. Okay, I get that. Crown, oh, there's an arrow? Oh, we're going. We're going. Let's go. We gotta, gotta figure this out, horsey. Yep. Fort Crown? Why have I been brought here? Oh. I thought, like, it was saying crown, not a place. I see shiny. 
Can you see anything, Aiden? I mean, yeah. Massacred the soldiers in the fort. Could it be Yato? Is that the tree right there? But it is. The devil's fork. The place I saw in my visions. Connect with the tree. There's nothing here. Bullshit. Oh, what is that? That's definitely what you should do. So was, the, was it a ritual gone wrong? Thanks, Aiden. Oh. Let me guess there's five of us. Even Grandma gets to do a ritual? Weird. This one has no talisman. Grandma. Grandma. She has one. Talisman. You put it around the baby's neck. Help me, Aiden. I've got to see what happened. God, it all went by too fast. I, I didn't understand it. It's, it's just all mixed up. It's as if something's missing. I'll show the talismans to Paul. Maybe he'll know something. 
He doesn't, but Grandma does. Is she gonna speak? Ah! Uh. What? We gotta get home before the storm. I guess I can cut through. Oh, that storm's moving in. Perfect time for a ritual. Let's summon it. Heal him. Come on, come on, come on. Start, start already, goddammit. It won't start, Jay. It won't start. Oh, the entity's coming back. We've got to get to the house. I don't think that's going to help. There's nothing else we can do. My father told you you can't fight a spirit. Not a spirit. if we can heal him though. Give me a chance. There's no there's no circle on you. I'm sorry, Bob. It's all my fault. I stirred up old memories. I never should have come here. I never bring anything good with me. help. Well, we kind of healed him a little bit. Oh, this blanket. It's the one that was on that baby. Mother gave it to me. Oh, she talked. Like her mother before. She also sure what I'm supposed to remember there. I mean, I, I saw what happened, but... Your ancestors. They summoned Yatsu here. They were lost. Full of hatred for the white man. They bring spirit. Kill their enemies. And gain revenge. He turned against them. He was still hungry. Hungry for blood. Yea, Itsu is back. Come to take our lives. We're your ancestors. 
They're the guardians who protect the house, right? They know they won't wrong, so they return to protect us from the evil that they released. If they brought the entity here, I mean, there's got to be some way to send it back to its own world. They used a ritual to open the passage. I still remember the incantation, but the ritual is lost. I saw the ritual in my vision. Look, I'll prepare it and you can help me with the incantation. Hurry! He's coming. Okay. A fire. I have to make a fire in the front of the house. There already kind of was a fire from burning the those sheep carcasses in the in the front of the house something to light the fire okay gasoline It's, uh, it's A. That's what it meant to remember. Okay, I can remember that. It's a stick figure. <laughs> now the talismans. I have to remember where each of the medicine man stood. It was just all points. The head, the arms, the feet. There. Got it. That's exactly right. Okay. Each of you needs to stand next to a talisman. There must be a soul attached to each one. We need Paul. There's only four of us and five talismans. We need a fifth soul to complete the ritual. This is crazy, Jody. Am I gonna possess him? Can I go in? Hey, of course. How could I miss that? Me! You're the fifth soul, I didn't. That's it! We've got the five oh. souls. Oh! She was sad to start the incantation now! <laughs> Get back in there. Oh, please. Yeah, get him. Oh, my gosh. We gotta get them back in there. We gotta help them.
where's grandma? Okay. Well, go pick her up. Damn. Shh. She got Jody. blown out of her wheelchair. Don't don't worry about me. Just so you know, there was not a QTE on that part with Jody. I did not fail. Feel the sun oh, Grandma die. No white man has ever been to the place I'm taking you. My people have buried our dead there for many hundreds of years. For us, it's sacred land. I guess she did pass away. Maybe that's what she was holding on for, is to help put the monster back. And now she can rest in peace now. Well, it looks like Paul's alive, so that's good. <laughs> he also didn't die. I feel like I'm stepping on graves here. I don't I don't know where they're buried. These are the bones of your ancestors. I'm sure they would have wanted to be buried alongside their own people. Oh, from the ritual site. they're mad at me doesn't it what are you still doing here I'm gonna follow you cave <laughs> that match doesn't really help does it well there's some drawings in here hey the entity is connected to somebody Just like me and Aiden. So it's decided. You're leaving? Yeah. I need to First go. First things I have to do. You know, I... I used to think that my gift was a curse. 
maybe I was wrong. Maybe I can use it to help people. Find out who I really am. You did a lot for us, Jordy. For us and the, the memory of our people. I don't know how to thank you. Aw, Paul. If you don't find what you're looking for, come back here. You have a home. Thank you. Bring it in, Corey. I know you're gonna miss me. I'm gonna miss you. Yep. <laughs> me too, Corey. And someone get me some chapstick. I'll never My God. Oh, and Jay, I know you're gonna miss me too. Ashki, he's gonna be very sad without you. But one day I'll come back and see him. Oh. Let's hug. I don't wanna make the other brother jealous. <laughs> oh. That's a nice hug. Hey, Jody! You didn't think you were just gonna walk, did you? It's a little it's been rusty. A lot of time, but I finally got the thing running. Take it, it's yours. Nice. It's the least we can do to thank you. Thanks. <laughs> cool. Does it start? Sounds pretty good, actually. Where's Grandma? 